thank you for, the, for this invitation. Uh, I, uh, I will show you how to deal with the ischemia or damping pressure during complex PCI. It is a topic which not was uh, not treated frequently in the, uh, in the review of literature. So I uh, will show uh, some uh, tips and tricks to, uh, to show how to deal with this. I have no conflicts of interest to disclose concerning this presentation. Damping pressure can be defined as a significant uh, decrease in the aortic pressure of the aortic root occurring when the catheter is placed in the coronary ostium accompanied with the disappearance of systolic and uh, diastolic waveforms, which means that there is no integrated flow in the, uh, in the, into the artery and, the, and that the area fed by the relevant artery cannot get the blood. So during damping pressure, severe obstruction at the, end, at, at the distal end of the catheter produce, produces a flow limitation sufficient to decrease volumetric displacement of the fluid fill the pressure system resulting in a diminution of its natural frequency and thus preventing all of the harmonics of wave propagation from being detected. Consequently, the normal arterial wave pattern is distorted with a narrow pulse pressure and a delayed upstroke and downstroke. So during damping, uh, when uh, damping pressure, when the outer diameter of the catheter is larger than the ostial diameter, or when the tip of the catheter is pressed against the vessel wall. The coronary ostium may be narrow due to a lesion or the patient's artery may be anatomically thin. This is a, di a diagram uh, of a continuous recording uh, of an electrocardiogram uh, that and the catheter tip pressure during coronary angiography showing the pressure wave damping not the abstract decline of uh, coronary pressure with narrow pulses, uh, pulse pressure, and a delayed upstroke and downstroke fluid. And this is uh, the first tip that the, uh, here we can show that the coronary, coronary catheter pressure returns back to ba baseline uh, on an immediate pullback of the catheter following damping. Uh, three types of damping pressures under damped, uh, optimally damped, and over damped pressure. Uh, what can happen during damping pressure? We can have a, a complications uh, which, uh, which can be like ischemic changes, coronary spasm, catheter instability, arrhythmia, ventricular fibrillation, hemodynamic instability, and dissection in the proximal part of the coronary artery, and we can have thrombus formation. How can we avoid uh, these complications? Small tips and tricks from uh, the review of literature, especially the use of a side, a side hole catheter like expressman guiding catheter, extension catheter. Second, immediate pullback of the guiding catheter following damping. Put a guide wire in the artery uh, to fix and stabilize your guiding catheter. Uh, you can uh, make a replacement of the catheter with a new catheter compatible with the anatomical structure of the artery, which will be suitable. Antracoronary nitroglycine and injection. Non-selective imaging of the aortic root. Uh, look carefully if your guiding is not coaxial with the wall, with the wall of the artery. This is a tip which is very important in the practical day. With the withdrawal of the catheter to the aortic root, while administrating a small amount of opaque material during senior angiography. Uh, and this is a discutable point. We can keep only, and if possible, your guiding extension catheter inside the artery and the principal guiding catheter just outside the ostium. This is the guiding expressman, which has the only guiding ext uh, extension catheter, which has five, four uh, sides hole in 90, 90 degree spatial distribution. This is 115 nitinol. Uh, the, uh, the tip is atraumatic and soft, and the extension uh, part hydrophilic uh, of 35 centimeter. This guiding extension catheter with side holes to provide integrated blood flow and in coronary artery during PCI and to maintain param hemodynamic parameters during all of the procedure. It is one of the longest rapid exchange section in the market with 35 centimeter, which can facilitate stent delivery across a long lesion. 
keep the entry port uh, not in the great arch not or nor in subclavian sub artery and uh, it can reduce uh, resistance during delivery these are the three uh, uh, simple features of this guiding catheter which is 115 centimeter nitinol shaft which can help in the flexibility and pushability inside the artery hydrophilic coating 35 centimeter long which can reduce resistance when advancing it in tortuous anatomy and its tip is uh, soft so we can locate it in the artery easily. Uh, comparative between Expressman 5 French and 6 French, uh, the 5 French extension guided catheter, it goes with the balloons until uh, 4 millimeter, stands until 4 millimeter diameter, 1.25 uh, burr for rotablation and uh, 2.75 uh, millimeter uh, diameter for cutting balloons inside guiding catheter 6 French. For the Expressman 6 French, we can use all balloons, all stents, diameter for coronary, 1.5 millimeter burr, all cutting balloons inside seven French guiding catheter. catheter. Here we can show the, the comparison between Expressman with the Godzilla and the telescope guideliner. It is the only one with nitinol, which can help easily to navigate in the, in the artery. The other guiding extensions are stainless steel. The extension length is uh, 35 centimeter, hydrophilic, and it is the only one with four side holes to maintain uh, pressures during long procedures. So the expressman, easy to enter and navigate inside the coronary, no damping pressure, less risk of thrombosis, less risk of hydraulic dissection, and less risk of a strut damage when recrossing the stent. I will show you two cases uh, how to manage, uh, how to, to, uh, to, to, use, to use a solution uh, during uh, complex PCI with, uh, with this uh, guiding extension catheter here. A long lesion of uh, RCA CTU. And we can look that the, and we can look that the, uh, And from the beginning of the artery, there is a long lesion. So uh, to go with, um, uh, uh, we, we have fixed the, the guiding with the, with the wire, uh, a long micro catheter, and uh, the express man cannot go uh, more uh, down on the artery to, to have a big support. So uh, we, go, um, we go to make a, a little anchoring distal uh, for, uh, for the expressman to navigate more in the, on the artery. And we have found in the subantimal space. So we cannot, uh, all of the procedure before putting the, uh, the expressman, we have a damped pressure, we cannot navigate correctly. So uh, here, we find the Gaia outside, uh, donc, uh, on a, we are in the subantimal space. So we get a balloon, anchoring distal for the expressman, and the moment of the deflation of the balloon, we push on the expressman to go back, uh, and uh, we can uh, look here that this expressman here in the mid of the RCA. So here we have a support. We pull back our uh, guiding principal catheter outside the ostium of the RCA, to maintain all of the time the pressure, good pressure. But all, although the wire is uh, in the subantimal space, so we, so we choose to go from the septals of the LED and retrograde uh, uh, direction, and uh, the wire can, uh, and we have completed classically after uh, good pressure uh, during one hour with the expressman, and we have uh, finally this result uh, at the end. The second case uh, is more complex. Uh, first attempt to, to open this uh, CTO circumflex was failed from anterograde direction. Uh, and here, 
look of the ostium of the RCA uh, with the GR 4.0 damp the pressure during all of the procedure. So we navigate with the AL 0 0.75 damp the pressure also. So a wire to coaxialize our gu our guiding and then express man in the in the uh, extension catheter in the RCA at least for uh, to show the if there is a septals uh, if there is a collaterals uh, from the RC uh, from the RCA to to the circumflex if there is a pericardial septals here we look that we have a pericardial uh, a small pericardial um, epicardial um, collaterals with the injection of the in the RCA selective with the express man here the principal guiding cutter is outside the, the ostium the express man is inside and we can navigate without any damped pressure and we saw this epicardial pressure Donc, in the first second attempt here we noticed that the wire is also the Gaia family, also in subantimal space. So parallel wire technique. We are also in the subantimal space. During one hour, uh, no damp pressure. Look for the ostium of the RCA always. So here we have uh, noticed that the second wire of the Gaia also in the subantimal space. So the, we decide to go from retrograde direction uh, approach from the RCA with the express man with this uh, difficulty with the, uh, with the intubation of the RCA. <coughs> so a long procedure. And at at the end, we can navigate correctly without any damp pressure. We can recuperate our wire uh, from the retrograde direction. And here we can, uh, with the micro cutter, recuperate our wire from the, rec from the re retrograde wire. the wire, the micro catheter, and then classically, after we continue uh, from anterograde uh, approach, so putting a stent here, we cannot open this, the stent is not uh, really <coughs> opened in the proximal part, guiding extension catheter, express man, and uh, cutting balloon, cannot open the stent, a waste in the stent, and with the open balloon at 38 atmosphere, we can open the stent, and finally we obtain this result. We complete the second stent in the, in the mid circumflex, and this is the final result. So, uh, my first conclusion, during damping pressure, there is no integrated flow into the artery and that the area fed by the relevant artery cannot get blood, consequently ischemic changes, coronary spasm, cataract instability, arrhythmia, hemodynamic instability, dissection thrombus. So to avoid, do not hesitate to put a guide wire in the artery to stabilize your guiding catheter. Check the guiding coaxiality, withdrawal of the catheter to the aortic root, intracoronary nitroglycerin injection, non-selective imaging of the aortic root, catheter compatible with the anatomical structure, keep guiding extension catheter alone inside the artery if possible, use and do not forget side hole catheter express man which can provide integrated flow and keep hemodynamic stability during all of the procedure. Thank you. So is there any question about this? Uh Guide extension. Can I just ask, do you have any experience with uh, rotablation through the extension? I, I did not realize until, until the moment, but uh, it, it will be feasible. With the bare 1.25 in the expressman 5 French, with the guiding 6, or 
until 1.5 millimeter bear uh, with the Expressman 6 French. Which guide extension do you use, actually? So um, we use guide liner, but it's not okay. the six French does not accommodate 1.5 uh, Okay. You, you might push for it, but uh, we, it, it will damage the, the, the performance. Oh, so I think if you plan to go for a, a rotor, you, you plan to go to seven French. Yes. <laughs> and then yes. You, you, you have no problem to advance yes. 1.25 and 1.5 or yes. so huh? in seven French uh, guide extension. Because yes. Expressman is the same inner size than the guide liner. Same. Yes. So any... So liquid, uh, yes. the, um, it's thinner, uh, uh, but yes, uh, theoretically you could, but in fact, <laughs> it's, 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 I think it's better to go seven uh, if you plan to have a rotor or something like that, okay? So uh, any Question, any uh, suggestion? Uh, it just... So in which indication do you use five French? Especially for the... And I saw that there is four French Expressman. Oh, huh? Florin? I, I saw five. And it's a tapered version. It means it's four French at the distal, at the tip, at the and then it's five or... Five at the ball, yes. Okay. And they are the ball. So indication is to reach some uh, really uh, distal part. Yes. So as much as your uh, procedure is complex, you must go with the big uh, guiding catheter. So the most easy to go at least with the six French uh, uh, extension guiding catheter. If you have yeah. side all like this, it's safer it's than safe. without side all. Here we have, in the second case, we have injected many times, and we have no problem during all of the procedure. What are the chances of hydraulic line injection? Like in India, is not, uh, this catheter is not available. Yes. So how come in, sometimes you are stuck, you have a high extension inside, you are opposed to your stent, you are not sure whether the stent is across the lesion or not. Yes. No. Yes, exactly. So, yes, yes. Yeah, it's but it's good for your CTO, then uh, you cross easily. Yeah? <laughs> 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 and this, yes. Yes. Yes, and it, and especially you must uh, you must minimize your volume of uh, of injection. So no, uh, when you we, when we inject, we we put two milliliter uh, to uh, to volume to to rest safe uh, when you can inject on anti grade way. I tell you, I uh, the one indication we have used at Florin is uh, knows about it. 
Uh, I've used it when we use a TAVI. When we do valve and valve with the left main protection, we use the expressman because of the side hole. Ah. So it, because sometimes if you have the old uh, trefecta valves, they usually have big leaflets so they can block your left main stem. So to do their chimney, and they're really quite good because it will keep the flow all the way through uh, into the, to, to the left coronary system or the right. So we've used it a few times using uh, this. It's, it, it's, it's different than the others because with the other ones, if you get damp, you have yeah. no flow in the coronaries at all. But you have to remember as well, damping is good because that tells you you are in trouble. So you need to, uh, to deal with that. So not all the time uh, damping is a bad thing. I'm a Japanese in this way. Yes. And second thing, what about the contrast, uh, extra contrast dose we are <coughs> Sometimes you will have your wires, you know, going through that side hole and standing in no. the water, all those problems. <coughs> no. We are so thinking about the uh, osteal RG or No. Uh, CTO really no. For, C it's for CTO, it, it's always a, a debate to know if we need to use side door or not side door. My personal way is for the left system, never, because the left man yes. can accept seven French or eight French. Yes. But for the right coronary, sometimes uh, <laughs> the diameter of the of the right coronary is sometimes can't accept seven French, and then in that situation, I will use side all, okay? So, personally, for the right coronary, I use side all. For the left, never. Yes, Alexander, especially for the RCA. And this second case, we have uh, tested the uh, GR 4.0 AL 075. Uh, we cannot go, uh, we cannot re uh, keep one minute without damping pressure. And we have failed two times from the anti grade uh, uh, approach. So here, the expressman has a solution. It must be mandatory in some cases, in some cases. So we cannot deal with this RCA because the abnormal ostium and the, uh, the diameter of the artery cannot allow to go uh, with all the materials to go from retrograde direction. For, no. for ADR, you, it's, it's, no, no, it's better to, to have no side all for ADR because you want to, to close the flow, okay? Yes. No, we are, you are not. Don't worry. No, no, you are not in the trouble. And uh, you know, the first time I used Expressman with Sidol, it was uh, in my lab, and my, uh, one of my colleagues is, using, is doing uh, acute coronary syndrome in free vessel disease, low ejection fraction, and uh, the right coronary distal one was uh, uh, the, um, the target. And so he went with uh, another uh, guide extension, without side door. Go to the mid part of the RCA and then uh, pulmonary oedema. Elevation of uh, ST elevation, and then we have to stop the procedure. So the, the guy say, okay, could you help me in this? And then I just received 
the side all uh, express man. I said, I think we, we have to try. They told me that there is no dumping of pressure on it, and we try. Three days <coughs> after, and we just place the express man, not at the mid part, but at the distal part. And we stay like this half an hour, nothing. So, side all works. No dumping of pressure, no thrombosis, uh, no e EKG change. Uh, it's really interesting. So, uh, I would thank you very much because we are exactly on time. <laughs> and uh, now it's 5.30. Uh, it's free time for you. You can go to the sea. <laughs> you can have some sun. And I told you uh, tomorrow morning at uh, 8.30 for uh, MLCTO. Thank you so much again. <laughs>